What is going on YouTube? Gavin here and welcome to this new video. Today we'll be talking about GNOME Shell extensions. As you know, GNOME is one of the most popular desktop environments for Linux, and it's the default choice for Debian and many other distributions. But if you know it, you may agree with me saying that it's not great by default. That's why on GNOME you have the possibility to use extensions. Using extensions, you can really transform GNOME and make it really better and more functional. In this video, I will talk about my personal top 5 GNOME Shell extensions. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. NetSpeed, a really simple but incredibly useful extension. It puts a network speed indicator in the top panel showing your current speeds. On the panel there's a preview label that shows download plus upload speed of all the internet devices you have, for instance, Ethernet and Wi-Fi, but you can customize it in the extension options menu. Clicking it shows a more detailed grid that gives you a more precise view of what's going on with your network speed. It's nice to monitor how much bandwidth you're using in certain situations and also to keep an eye on your network speed fluctuations. Number 4. Easy Screencast. It's the extension I'm using to record the screen right now. GNOME has a built-in screen recording system, but it's only a shortcut driven and lacks some options. That's why I use this extension. It adds a simple panel indicator to control the recording and it also features a lot of options to tune your recording as you want to. Surely a must have for a YouTuber. Number 3. Lane, a full-featured audio mixer indicator that gives you full control on your audio sources. It lets you tune the volumes both global and per process. It also has media controls and source switchers for both audio input and output. It's like having pulse audio volume control in your panel. Number 2. Dash to dock. I probably couldn't live without it. It takes the GNOME dash and makes it into a dock. Kind of like Plank on Elementary OS or the Unity Launcher on Ubuntu. It's really well made and offers many ways of customization. This extension really fixes one of the worst problems of GNOME Shell. The dash is visible just in the activities overview by default and it's really annoying to access. With dash to dock you get a far more friendly and efficient user experience. I really love it. Number 1. GNOME Menu. This is probably the most complete extension you will find on GNOME. If you're familiar with the old GNOME 2, then you'll notice how this extension tries to take the old menu back in a new and improved form. It has these shortcuts in the leftmost part of the panel and has a great menu with many features. It has Nautilus shortcuts in the left sidebar, shortcuts for your favorite apps and recent documents, virtual desktops control, power controls like reboot, shutdown, logout, and most importantly, a categorized application menu. This extension offers a lot of customization. You can basically make your very own menu out of it. It's great and it really feels like a standalone app. So guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.